today we will deal with the study of environmental biology which mainly focuses on various aspects of ecology. Generally ecology is considered as the science which requires minimum time for its introduction to a common man. In the current era the science of ecology has been matured into an honored and respected scholarly discipline which not only deals with the field of research but also pays attention to the general conditions of today's environment. Now let us see the significance of gaining basic knowledge of ecology in our day to day life. Nowadays the ecological knowledge is essential to understand the present day problems of nature regarding global warming, ozone depletion, flood situations, drought conditions, earthquake, tsunami, forest fires, cyclones and many other climatic problems associated with the environment. Let us get an overview of the different aims of ecological study in the field of biology. Basically the study of ecology aims to find out how the nature works and sustains itself by systematically following the principles of environmental science or ecology. The major aim behind the study of this subject is to provide an account of divergent vital concepts of modern ecology especially abiotic and biotic components of ecosystem, trophic levels, population ecology community ecology, ecological succession, biomes, biodiversity, adaptation, vegetation, pedogenesis, biological interactions, precipitation patterns, biogeochemical cycles, environmental pollution and wildlife management. Ecology also concentrates on the significant aspects of ecological energetics and structure of ecosystem emphasizing the comprehensive principles and concepts pertaining to the energy and matter transfer in ecological systems. The major goal of ecology is to give a brief idea of different levels of organization involved in the formation of biosphere including individual species, population, community and ecosystems. Another aim of this study is to present an overview of the big picture of ecology and highlights the increasing importance of the subject in human affairs. The subject of ecology aims to cover the concepts of human population growth, problems of food supply and many other ecological problems. As we have seen earlier the study of ecology also aims at creating the awareness among the people regarding the global environmental issues like global warming, ozone layer depletion, desertification, deforestation, industrialization, urbanization, overpopulation, air pollution, water pollution, soil pollution, electronic waste generation radioactive waste disposal and many more mentioned earlier. The integration of knowledge of ecology helps in finding the best solutions of these worldwide problems. Ecological knowledge also helps in construction and enforcement of specific environmental laws formulated by the government of different countries regarding reduction of carbon footprint, improvement in the level of carbon credit and Kyoto Protocol Treaty for decreasing the greenhouse gas emissions. The proper execution of these laws by applying the knowledge of ecology helps in minimization of the hazardous effects of variety of environmental pollutants on living organisms. Let us have a glimpse of the vast scope of ecological study. 
Ecology is considered as the interdisciplinary branch of biology concerned with the study of relationship between living organisms in their natural environment. The term ecology is also referred to as bionomics which deals with the scientific study of distribution and abundance of life and the interactions between organisms in their environment. Let us know the history of origin of ecology. The term ecology was coined for the first time in 1869 by the German biologist Ernest Haeckel from the Greek word oikos meaning house or dwelling and the Latin and Greek roots of the word logos means scientific study. The scope of ecology covers a wide array of interacting levels of organization spanning micro level for example cells to planetary skill phenomenon like ecosphere. Taylor in 1936 has pointed out the scope of ecology by stating that ecology is the science of all the relations of all organisms to all their environments. Now let us have a view of the living world as a biological hierarchy that starts with subcellular particles like proteins and nucleic acids and continues up through cells tissues and organs. Ecology represents an extension of this hierarchy. Ecological hierarchy deals with the next three major levels of organizations on earth which are considered as the primary subjects of the ecological inquiries. Let us have a look at the diagram which explains various levels of ecology in brief. The first ecological level as shown in the diagram comprises of the individual organism where the ecology deals with how individuals are affected by and how they affect their environment. This individual organism is known as species in the ecological term. A species is a group of organisms that share the same general physical characteristics and are able to interbreed and produce fertile offsprings. The second ecological level is formed of the population which is a group of the individuals of a particular species within a given area. Population ecology is concerned with the presence or absence of particular species, their abundance or rarity and with the trends and fluctuations in the numbers. The third level in the ecological hierarchy comprises of the community formed by different species of organisms which deals with the composition and organization of ecological communities. Apart from this study, ecologists also focus on the pathways followed by energy and metatransfer among the biotic and abiotic components of a habitat which are referred to as the ecosystem. The ecosystem study deals with the relationship of the community with its physical environment. Finally, all the ecosystems on the earth and their interrelationships comprise together to form a biosphere. Now let us try to get some information regarding basic processes involved in the study of ecology. Ecological study requires knowledge of some of the basic phenomenon which mainly involves life processes as well as structural, functional, behavioral adaptations of organisms in relation to their environment. Local and geographic distributions and abundance of biodiversity in context of the environment. Temporal changes in the distribution, abundance and behaviors of the organisms. 
interrelationships between species and their populations and populations in their communities. The movement of materials and energy through living communities. The successional development of ecosystems and evolutionary interrelationships among organisms. In a way, ecology is considered as a multidisciplinary science. There is hardly a science which has not been influenced from ecological point of view. It covers practically the whole field of biology and is related in one way or another to every science which touches the life. Let us discuss ecology as a holistic science which incorporates and overarchs the other disciplines of biological and physical sciences. It is closely related to physiology, evolutionary biology, genetics and ethology. Because of its focus on the higher levels of the organization of life on earth and on the interrelations between organisms and their environment, ecology draws heavily on many other branches of science especially geology, geography, meteorology, pedology, chemistry as well as physics. Furthermore, ecology can be viewed as a broad discipline which comprises many sub-disciplines. Let us have a look at the interrelationships between ecology and other branches of biology in detail. The central wheel like diagram gives an idea of wide scope of ecology at a glance. Plant ecology looks at the differences and similarities of various plants in differing climates and habitats. The origin of animal ecology can be traced to two Europeans, R. Hees of Germany and Charles Elton of England. Animal ecology basically deals with the study of interrelationships of various animals with their surrounding environment. Ecophysiology studies the responses of the individual organism to the environment and examines how the physiological functions of organisms influence the way they interact with the environment. Behavioral ecology examines the role of behavior in enabling animal to adapt to its environment. Evolutionary ecology studies ecology in a way that explicitly considers the evolutionary histories of species and their interactions. Urban ecology is concerned with the study of city planning. Political ecology connects politics and economy to problems of environmental control and ecological change. The idea of population ecology was put forward by two famous men, Charles Darwin and Gregor Mendel, which studies the dynamics of populations of single species. Community ecology or synecology focuses on the interactions between species within an ecological community. The last subcategory is ecosystem ecology, which has been introduced by A. Thienman. Ecosystem ecology studies the flow of energy and matter through the abiotic and biotic components of the ecosystems. Apart from these, systems ecology is also an interdisciplinary field focusing on the study. Development and organization of ecological systems from a holistic perspective. Landscape ecology examines processes and relationships across multiple ecosystems or a very large geographic area. Ecology is a human science as well. There are interdependencies not only between ecology and other areas of plant sciences but also between ecology and physical as well as 
social sciences. These days, study related to human ecology has been contributing very much to the socio-economic, political and other similar policies of the world. There are many practical applications of ecology in the field of conservation biology, especially in wildlife conservation, wetland management, grassland management, natural resource management, including agriculture like crop rotation, pest control, weed control, forestry and fishery biology, community health, climate regulation, water filtration in understanding the relationships between competitors, predators, prey and diseases, food industry, fibers, medicines, soil formation study named as pedogenesis, erosion control and in many other natural features of scientific, historical or spiritual value. Even the international problem of environmental pollution also requires an ecological assistance. From this discussion, we can easily realize the significance of following ecological principles and maintaining ecological balance in the world for healthy survival of living organisms on this earth, which itself suggests very wide scope of ecology in the future. Let us get an overview of the topics that we have covered in today's lecture. During this lecture, we have gathered the information regarding different aspects of ecology. The major aim of today's introductory lecture is not only to provide an insight into the basics of ecological science, but also to present an overview of a big picture of ecology and highlight the increasing significance of the subject in human affairs. During this lecture, we have seen that ecology is the multidisciplinary branch of science which deals with the study of relations of all organisms to their environments. It also focuses on the different organizational levels of ecology starting from species to ecosystems. Today's lecture also emphasized on the broader scope of ecology incorporating study of plants and animals, population, community, ecosystems and many other disciplines of biological sciences. Lastly, we had a glimpse of practical applications of ecology in the fields of wildlife conservation, agriculture, human health and in finding the solutions related to global environmental issues.